Hey guys, it's Shannon from iHeartRadio Canada here with Oracles. Hello, how hey. are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, you said you're jet lagged. Where did you come from? France. From France, that oh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Europe, yeah, yeah. For this? How long are you staying before you fly back out? Uh, well, actually, I'm having a tour in the US after that. Yeah. And also in Toronto. So, yeah, I'm, I'm here for one month. Nice. So, that's the first gig here in North America. Yeah. I'm very happy to start with such an amazing festival. I know, first show of the tour. Yeah. Yeah, what a great way to start at a music festival. Definitely. Yeah, and the set today at the show was great was perfect people were very lovely excited very they were dancing screaming shouting everything so perfect nice. uh, very nice welcome very that's warm. awesome what yeah. you do I, it's so unique and it's so there's it just seems like there's no one out there that's doing what you do well yeah i, I, I mean i worked hard to um, uh, try to focus on what i really like and what and, and not what is trendy you know right. so so yeah, I just do whatever feels right for me. And yeah. yeah so do you do you like pay any attention to what's going on in the music industry yeah, at the yeah. time and things like that? I do it. I do it. I listen to a lot of things, but um, at the end of the day, I think yeah, I have my own thing. And fortunately, I found it, and and I like doing that, and I like being a little bit outside of whatever is being done. And I don't know. I, I still, I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to fit with um the whole world you know but in my own way yeah definitely yeah. and you're definitely doing that and you're you're constantly coming out with music as well i feel like you have an ep or multiple eps that will come out every year yeah. how do you keep up with that creativity i mean i'm always in delay i mean i'm always delayed because i, I was supposed to release an album in like one month but i will <laughs> i won't be able to do it and i'm always I'm always trying to keep up with the with the releases and everything, but it's it's not possible. I mean, so many gigs, so many things, so many projects, so many. But I mean, that's why I wake up every morning, you know, to make music, and that's that's what I like to do: make music. It's yeah. as simple as that. I mean, I'll, okay, it's stupid, but that's my life: making yeah. music. Totally, and being that busy and being like that—that's not a bad problem to have, right? No, no, definitely not. Yeah, no, no that's always. awesome. So I know that you grew up very musical. You started at a really young age. But what was the point where you decided that, oh, I want to turn this into a career and do something with it? Uh, it's hard to say. You know, there was a point when, okay, there, there is this story I can tell you. It, it, was, it was a moment when I turned 12 and I was at mu music school. It wasn't like a conservatory, it was like private yeah. school, okay? And the teacher, did kind uh, some kind of mistake he told me okay Kevin this year you're actually the best student at school and for me it was it was a very bad thing because I thought okay if I'm the best this year then I have nothing to learn right so I said so that was stupid okay but I was 12 rem yeah. <laughs> remember and I said okay then I quit and then I, g I went back to my grandmother's <laughs> place and I told her that I, I wanted to quit because I thought I was done with it, you know, yeah. but I, I still, I went back there and I played, I played piano and she was sitting behind me on the couch and after some minutes, I heard like she was crying and she, I turned, I stopped playing, I turned, I, I said, what's up? I mean, what, what's going on? What's going on? And she told me, you don't have the right to do that. And she was like screaming and, and, and uh, like upset yeah upset and very and crying and and i was like wow she's overreacting you know i didn't understand i didn't get it at this moment but i thought okay i don't get it but this might be very important oh yeah this might be very important and she was she was she were telling me she was telling me things like yeah you don't have the right to do that you're so talented you have to continue you have you have you promise me that you continue and you keep on doing music and playing piano and whatever and I said okay I'll pro I promise you and so from this point I started to work music and to play music not only for me and not only you know like a kid just doing whatever you you're being told but to fulfill a promise you yeah. know and to try to keep on learning things but by myself yeah so it was a turning point wow yeah. that's wonderful it is do you feel like you're still fulfilling that promise today 
Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, she comes to my shows every time I have an orchestra show. She comes and she she tells me she's very proud. So, uh. I mean, it has been very important for me. I mean, there are several points when your life can be this or that, right? And, right. And this was a very important point for me. And I think, yeah, I think it it changed my life. Yeah, well, I actually, I play violin and I've been playing since I was four. So oh, I've nice. been playing for like 25 years now, which is nice. crazy. But it's similar in that way where I wanted to quit so many times and my mom was like, just keep going, like just follow it. And then one day you'll be so appreciative of the fact that you didn't quit. And then I never did. And I'm so glad that I can Awesome, still play we now. should play together. Then. Yeah, bring me on, I'm, I'm awesome. ready. Yeah, but yeah. I was gonna say music like you're also growing up, part of the reason I wanted to quit is because I just thought it was so boring, like playing classical music. Yeah. But then seeing things like this, which you do with the whole orchestra, it just opens eyes for so many people to see like, oh, you can do so much with playing an instrument. Yeah, I mean, it's an instrument. It plays whatever you, you ask it to play, right? Yeah. So it doesn't have to be classical. I love classical music. Yeah, but me too. But you can, you can take a violin and play rock music. Yeah. So... No, I mean, I, I try to don't have any barriers, you know, even if it's an harmonica or a, or a violin or a guitar or whatever, I can use everything. That's what I try to do. For sure. Speaking of different generations, you recently became a father. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, on your daughter. Um, yeah. wh what instruments are you going to uh, get her to learn? Whatever she likes. Yeah. I mean, that's that's my the thing I want for her is that I will try to be the best partner for her to accompany her for what she wants to do. Yeah. I don't want her to be a copy of me or whatever. I yeah. just want her to be herself, her better, her best self. Yeah, uh, that's so, so sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, congratulations on the new Armin van Buren remix. Yeah, thank yeah. you. That, thank it's you. so it good. Really I love oh, it so much. You, what you. made you want to remix that song? Well, he, he asked me, you know, oh, yeah? he asked me and I was very surprised. I was like, how does he even know me? I mean, that's so different, right? And we received his track with my management and we were thinking okay that's very different from <laughs> from what i used to do and i thought okay you know what I, I, he told me do you want to do that my manager i mean mm. and i was like yeah of course i mean he's a legend yeah but, you can't say no but how can i work this track i mean that it's gonna be so hard and i told him you know what L leave me like three hours I i'll try and if something comes out then it's good if if not we just dodge you know yeah. and in three hours the track the track was actually pretty much done so i thought okay let's do it and and nice. yeah i'm very happy about it i played it tonight and the people loved it so, oh, nice. so yeah. oh, i'm sure yeah it's yeah. fantastic I'm very happy okay so for this tour coming up we're excited because we're from toronto so we're excited that you're coming to toronto on the tour yeah um, very, very but is the orchestra going to be on the tour with you how is it going to work in toronto or just in general oh no 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 unfortunately not i would love to but i think for now I'm having this tour uh, with the orchestra in Europe only. Okay, gotcha. And my goal, I hope I can do it like in 2023 yeah. or 2024. I was going to say, but that's a lot of people to take. Oh for yeah. yeah, that's huge. I mean, I will probably have to take another orchestra here mm. in Northern America. I don't know if it will be possible, but I would love to do it. Yeah. So tonight I brought my uh, ch cellist. Yep. So it was already something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... I would love to do it, but I have to. Um, it's a big show, and uh, we need to we need to work it out well. You know, like we need something like three thousand people per show to make it to For make sure. it okay. Yeah. You know, so it's very it's very hard to do, but I would love to. And uh, after after this show, I'm going to America to U to the mm -hmm. U.S. So we'll see how it how it goes but uh, I'm very confident because actually the last time I went to the US it was growing and growing and my crowd is growing there so I'm very happy about that and yeah maybe in one or two years who knows yeah. maybe with the symphonic of of, uh, of Montreal yeah for I sure. would love that yeah and then yeah. call me up right and with you perfect yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> awesome thank you so much for taking the time thank you thanks so much